Hi guys, today we're going to create our first Photoshop display ad. The first thing that we'll do once inside of Photoshop is say File New. Because this is a display ad, we'll want to bump our resolution from the typical 72 pixels per inch up to 300. We'll also set the size of our banner to 900 pixels wide by 400 pixels tall. The background color we've originally selected is white. So the first thing we need to do is populate our canvas. I've already sourced some images online, so I'm going to go ahead and open one. This particular ad I'm designing will be for a pellet stove company. I choose the pellet stove I want to put in my ad, activate the move tool, drag it up onto my canvas, and then back down to my canvas. You'll notice both my background canvas and my image have a white background, so it looks like it is a perfect fit. However, I'm going to change the background to a darker tone. Therefore, I need to trim away the background associated to the original pellet stove image. The easiest way to do that is to activate my selection tool. I'm going to choose quick selection, and I'm going to go ahead and isolate the stove. I'm holding the left key on my mouse and I'm simply dragging to basically capture the entire image. You'll notice the center still has marching ants. As it's a different color, I need to select all of that. Once the only marching ants I see are on the outside, I can safely assume I've selected the entire image. Then I'll use my Refine Edge tool. There's a lot of options for viewing. You can look with just marching ants, on an overlay, on a black background, a white background, or your layer. Our layer happens to be white. We already know our real background image will be dark. So let's choose to work on a black background. The first thing we'll choose is edge detection. And we'll pick smart radius. That will allow us to refine that radius. Then we'll adjust our edges. First thing I want to do is shift them in a little bit because I know there were some extra pixels. Up my contrast, smooth just a bit. Feather usually adds an embossed look, so I'm not really going to choose that today. Then I will output my selection to a new layer with layer mask. But I still can't tell what it looks like because my background's white. We want to change that, so let's go back to our background. Choose our marquee tool. We will select our entire background. Then we'll choose Control U to launch the hue saturation tool. I know that I want to have a regal look and feel, so I want to have something that's pretty dark. I want a gray color with a blue hue. So I'll play around with my saturation, my lightness. I have exactly what I'm looking for. That's pretty nice. So I'll say OK. To deselect that marching ant on the edge, I'll say Control D. It's kind of boring right now, though, so let's add another image to bring in some more pizzazz. Again, we say File Open. We look in our Sample Images folder. I'm going to choose. Ring of fire, circle of fire. All right, wow, this is much bigger than my regular palette. I know my regular palette was set at a height of 400 pixels and a total width of 900. Let's see what size this image is. Oh, way too big. So let's size it down to a height of 300 because I know I want to put some text underneath it. Hopefully, that will be a good fit. I'll grab it, drag it up onto my background, drag it back onto my background. It looks pretty good. All right, so I want to trim the edge off this one as well. Last time I used the Quick Select tool, probably not a great option this time. I'm going to use instead my Magnetic Lasso tool. I'm going to drill down a little closer so I can see what I'm doing. Control plus. 
All right. So the magnetic lasso tool is one of those tools that, honestly, the more you use it, the easier it becomes. Really, all the tools in Photoshop are pretty similar. There's going to be some tools you absolutely love and other tools you despise working with. The reality is even those that you think you don't like, if you spend the time and energy necessary to really refine your skill set, your perception might change. So to use magnetic lasso, I simply keep dragging and then left clicking my mouse every time I want a pointer. Those pointers all connect together. And when I get to the end, it will select everything inside of my circle. I'm not going to be super neurotic about being completely perfect right now because I know that my refine edge tool is going to help me. If I were creating a professional ad right now for a client that was paying me, I'd obviously be going a lot slower. <laughs> really, I'm just trying to get the majority of the selection, the quickest time frame as I possibly can. Once you've completed, the marching ants will arrive. Then we can again refine edge. This time we're actually going to output it to our layer. And then we'll go ahead and activate Smart Radius, which is a radius we're comfortable with. And again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's going to be what's pleasing to your eye. Everyone's going to have a little different perspective. That's why I encourage you to play around with it. The more you use it, the more well-versed you become. If anything, I want to shift my edge out a little bit with this to have a nice definition. And we will output to new layer, layer with layer mask. All right. So let's go back down, control negative. All right. Looking pretty good, but we definitely need some type of tagline. So I will add a new layer, and I'll put a text box in. I want to position my text box, and I have the ability to position it after. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and write my text, something that has to do with the content of my ad. All right, so I've chose Custom Cast Creations Pellet Stoves with Style. Go ahead and move it down a little bit. And as you'll see, it's not really the right size. So we will once again launch that text box. And I need to make it bigger. All right. Then I want to position it where I want it. Okay. Now I've already chosen actually to use, um, I've, I've chosen with my um, 
I drop select dart. I sampled the stove to get my text color. It's a little too close for me though, so I'm actually going to take this layer and move it up just a little bit. I don't want them on top of each other. And I think the last thing I want to do is add a nice block of color behind my text so it really stands out. So again, we'll do one more new layer. Choose my rectangular marquee tool. I will choose fill. I'm going to put a color in there. I think the color I'm going to go with is a black color. Pretty close to standard black, but I want to give it an opacity of 60. And then I want to make sure that my text is on top of that layer, which it looks like it is. I will say select, deselect. And my first ad is complete. This was a Photoshop tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you develop as much of a passion for using Photoshop as I have. Good day.